Absolutely. Wait, right. wait. Okay. Show me right. where the single texts are. Right. The Quran says okay. Injil, which right. is a single text, okay. and, and the Torah is a single text. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Uh, this is a problem for Islam. No, it's not. It's not, it's not because we know. You've we know what it. the answer is. Where are they then? The Quran tells us. Where are they? I'm telling you. Okay. You're gonna listen. I will know. The Quran tells us the Torah right. of Moses mm -hmm. existed once upon a time. Right. The original text right. that was given to Moses right. in his language. Right, right, the right. original text. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. And the Quran similarly mentions the Injil, the original Injil given to Jesus in his language. Did now my question. My question is, my question is, my question is, wait, my, my, my question is, was the Torah given to Moses? Yes or no? Sure. We agree. Good. Was it given to him in his language? Sure. Brilliant. We are in agreement. We are agreeing today. Good. What language did he speak? Why is this relevant to the point? Oh, it's very no, relevant. You will see. You, you will see. You will see. Because as far as What's I understand, your name? answer, please. He doesn't answer. Chris. He, doesn't answer. Chris. Wait, wait, he will answer. Will, Don't worry. Let, let, let me handle him. Let me. I, 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 I do. I, I sleep so this. Far, I eat this. What I've said. <laughs> so don't worry. So what language did Moses speak? Why is this relevant? To you will my see. Claim? You will answer. see. Tell answer me. my question. And then I will is it? You. Is it? Is it a trap question answer. for you? I, I don't know where you're going with it. What's you the will point? see. Answer. You answer. will see. I've answered it so far, but you still haven't got to the point. Simply I'm asking. Enough. I'm asking your question. What language did Moses speak? Why is this relevant? You stop your camera. Why? Oh, it's there. Good. <laughs> This camera why is the most is, important one here. Why is this relevant? I want Christians answer, to see this. Why, why is, is this relevant? relevant? You will see. Just tell me. It's a very simple oh. question. Just tell what me. What language did Muhammad speak? Arabic. Arabic? Arabic. Is it Arabic. Okay. What Moses, language? Moses, wait, wait, wait. Moses because you, you guys Moses, keep Moses, coming and beat Moses this drum Arabic. that the Quran confirms the Torah and the Injil. Wait, wait, wait. You keep Arabic beating. So I want to, I want to deal this. No I want to deal with this once and for all. Now, please, Chris. Did you misspeak or did you? No, uh, he admitted sorry, that sorry, Moses Chris. Is not the one they have. Sorry, he no, I didn't say that. Now. I said Muhammad. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm okay. Sorry. So, what language did Moses speak? Please say I will not go forward until you answer this question. Wait, Brother, what's the point? I have calm asked, down. You are not answering my question. You will see my point. Answer my question. Just answer my question. You, Chris, Chris. I don't everyone's watching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cameras. And now eleven. Now eleven. You have I'm told. Okay. To deal with the fact people, that the people. Quran uh, my my the Torah. purpose in this answer is to educate now. people. I'm not here not to, to achieve question. anything else. Not to answer my question. Chris, you what language? Question. What language did Moses answer. speak? Wait, brother. Why don't you just answer my I, question? I want to stick to the point. Can I want to stick to the point. Can you please be polite and answer because my original you, question? Chris, Chris, you yes, raised the question. question. Yes. I'm waiting for your response. I'm responding. Patiently. Yes. Please tell you're, me. You're very patient. Please tell me. You're a gentleman. Okay. It doesn't we're matter gonna, if I we're know We're going to show the world so that... It doesn't matter if I know things. Well, don't don't, don't speak response. over me. Uh, don't speak over me. Though, I'm going to give you a uh, chance okay. to speak. I love, I love to hear a response. English. I want the I, world to see the Christians... Would you like to debate after? You want to trust me. When you finish with this one, we... See, ad hominems. Shame. So you have, my friend. Be patient and you will see. Let's talk about... Let's talk about crime manuscripts. Okay. Chris, are we going to continue with this? I would like if you give me an answer. Okay. Just give me an answer. Yeah? Okay. You raise the question, brother. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, brother, I want you to. I want you in particular to calm down. You in particular. Calm down. Relax. You raise the question that the Quran con confirms yes. or approves yes. okay, or endorses whatever yes. word you want to use in the English language sure. that the Quran endorses. Yes. The Torah yes. and the Injil. Yes. And I said yes, hey. absolutely. Uh, uh, you were wait, rejecting that. Hey, hey, hey. He was wait, rejecting wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down. He was Calm down. Yeah, wait, wait. Bible. I am asking now, yeah. and we all agreed that the Torah is a singular word, yes, and Injil is a singular word. Okay, in Arabic, yes. So the Quran is talking about a single text and a single text. There are two texts the Quran mentions. Okay. If we agree that the Quran endorses the Torah and the Injil, which for our, for the sake of the argument, I'll give it to you. I'll see territory. Thank I'll, oh, wait, wait, wait. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And we will see now. You see, when the chain ball comes your way, you don't know it's coming. Wait. Okay. Now, the Quran endorses the Torah. Let's assume that's true. Let's assume. You said it was true. Wait, wait. You're not listening. Are you listening? Is it true? Is it true? 
I, I, I'm assuming English is your basic, your yes, mother language. Yes, but you said two things. English you is your true, mother language, right? You your it's your mother true. tongue. It I'm true? saying, or are you saying, I'm you're saying for the true? sake of the argument. Okay, so you're not saying it's true. Okay, wait. Okay, so we take that back. Okay. For the sake of the argument, right. we accept that the Quran endorses the Torah and the Injil. Okay. Now my question is, you are claiming that the Quran endorses the Torah and the Injil. Yes, so I'll give you the claim. Okay, I accept. I accept. I accept. Oh, yeah, For the sake yeah, of the yeah. argument, I accept. I now you tell me yeah. which Torah, because it's single. Right. You have four Gospels. Yeah. You have the Gospel of John, yeah. the Gospel of Luke, yeah. Matthew, Mark. Yes. You have four Gospels. Yeah. Which oh, one of them is the Quran endorsing? Because the Quran is saying Injil, one Gospel. Which one? You do know that the word, the Arabic term Injil comes at Evangelion, which means Gospel. Gospel means good news. Good news right. So when Christians speak about this, we can say one of two things. We can say the Gospel accounts, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, or we can say the Gospel, okay. which means good. all of them, good. which means well the good news. Well done. So you can use it both in the plural well done. and in the singular. So okay. that doesn't get you out of this problem. Okay, great. Second point now, let me make a point now, you made your point. The second point is that this, according to the Quran, it is affirming some kind of injil. The issue is no, that no, 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 no. I'm not going to let you do this. Not use, some kind, use, not use. some kind of injil. The I Quran in says injil. Okay. 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 So okay. there's no kind. The Quran doesn't mention a kind. Right. The yeah, Quran says injil. injil. Okay. So I want to know. I want to know what your understanding is would of have, injil. What would the injil have been at the time of Muhammad in the seventh century? Okay. It would have been the one that was okay. Been Everywhere circulated among the Quran, Christians, we believe, which would have, would have been Matthew, okay. Mark, Luke, and John. Okay. Show me proof otherwise. Okay, brilliant. At the time of Muhammad, yeah. there was the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of John, the Gospel of Luke, the Gospel of Mark, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, the Gospel of Judas, the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of, and the list goes on. Not born. I didn't mention that. I didn't mention that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Be, be, stay with me. If if I take your argument that the Quran is mentioning the four Gospels, then by that virtue, the Quran must be referring to the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of because these Gospels are extant. They were there. They existed at the time of Muhammad. No, they are Do you accept the church? Okay. The no, Quran no. doesn't mention no, the church. No, no. The Quran doesn't mention the church. No, the church is not the question here. The church is not the question here. The Quran is telling us the church is disbelieving. If you were the Quran, the Quran tells us the church is a disbelieving establishment. Why would the Quran use the church as an authority but when the Quran is saying the, the Quran, the Quran is telling us the Christian church, predominantly the Trinitarian Christian the church, is a disbelieving establishment. All members of the Why? Church would have Why? Matthew, Mark, Luke, chapter five, Gospel, chapter everywhere. five, chapter five of the Quran, yep. verses seventy to seventy-five. What do we read in these five verses? The Quran tells us, by extension, Allah tells us that those who say that Jesus is God are disbelievers. Number one. Then the Quran, in the same verses, in these five verses, tells us those that believe in the Trinity are disbelievers. Okay. So when you bring the church up as uh, some sort of authority, the Quran is telling us they are a bunch of disbelievers. Is, they are kuffar. They are kuffar. They right, are. Right, right. Uh, wait, wait. I'm not finished. The Quran is telling us they're going to hellfire. So why would the Quran take their endorsement of four chosen texts and ignore the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, the Gospel of Judas, and the list goes on and on. So I'm trying to make a point. To make a point. Now you have uh, you you have enforcement. Right. So Re wait, show. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Now my question is: the Quran mentions one gospel. If you want to call it gospel, we don't call it the gospel. We don't call it. No, wait, wait, wait. The hadith mentions the word gospel. Now wait, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it. Someone, someone. No, I'm not taking it. Oh, you can have. Yeah, my friend, I'll hold it. This, this is. I'm not going to try. This is a very cheap phone. I don't think it's more than one. One. Take this one. This is my phone. Take my phone. This is what you do. I'm not doing. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to read the Arabic. Please read the Arabic for me. I'm not, I'm not going to run away with it. Read the yeah, Arabic but my point is, you yeah. don't take it. Wait, people. Uh, I don't take your phone. Chris, Chris, why are you so agitated? Let's come. Hey. Take a breath. 
bro, bro. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Breathe. Breathe. Do this. Do this. Do this. No, no. Breathe. Brother, I told you to calm down. I told you to calm down. Okay. Breathe. Take a take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Calm down. I want you to calm down. Other people here will try to. Okay. Show you the hadith. Show, show me the number of the hadith. Please show me the number of the hadith. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to you. I'm giving. I'm giving it to you. I'll hold it for you. Yeah. Okay. Show me the number. Here, I'm not gonna shoot you. here, a Christian helper came, and he he thought he was helping him. So. Calm down. Can phone. you calm down, brother? So you stole okay. his phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Why don't you let me hold so, the phone so, for so, you? so, look, look. If you let Why me you finish, so I would be finished by now. You, you, you would have your phone. Grab my phone okay. off me. No, like, I'm, not running, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not running. I'm not. Let me finish. I'm not running away. Phone. You can have my phone. I don't this want your phone. This is hey, I don't want your phone. It's a lovely phone, but I don't want it. I wait, just don't wait, want can, you can, to take can, can, can you not get give physical? Can you not get physical? Him, I don't need your help. Give it to him. Uh, wait, wait, please. Oh, yes, Brothers, tell me the number of the hadith. What, what are you trying to... Oh. Right, read it. Come on. So can I have it oh, again? No, 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 you don't, you don't want me... Oh, yeah, what's, what's, what's happening you, here? Can't, can't. What's happening here? Because you took his okay. phone. So, so I'll make my point. I'll make my point. You see how agitated our Christian brothers are. Because you literally... They are completely... They are... I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm, you grab I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to be contained. I'm trying to be decent. These guys, they cannot, they cannot show stability. Please show some stability. Let me, let me make my point. My point is, my point is, he just got a phone, and there is a hadith on the phone, and it mentions the word gospel in the English translation. In, okay, okay. Let's see the Arabic. Let's see the Arabic. Let's see the Arabic. Yeah, bring it back. Let's see the Arabic. Okay, Where's let's see the Arabic. The Arabic. Okay, the let's see the Arabic. Why don't you trust the ones who translate? No, I don't. I I, don't I know the, the Arabic scholars. language. Better than the scholars. I, I know. I know better basic. I know no, basic you're Arabic. Scholar, you know better than scholars. Chris. Chris, is this is this a sincere discussion or is this a point scoring discussion? Are you trying to get famous here at my expense? Are you trying to get famous I want you to here? Okay, so so you you don't mind you don't mind looking stupid? Look, look, listen. You don't mind looking <laughs> stupid? What? You're looking stupid now. This is, yeah, yeah. So, so calm down. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Okay. So my question still stands. I'm gonna go back to the main question. Okay. The gospel the Quran is mentioning is not their gospel. It's not the gospel they possess. It's not the gospel of John. It's not the gospel of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. If that's the case, if that's the case, yes. Now you ask the ask. That's your claim. What gospel is it, brothers? Can can I can I request that you remain silent because we are having a conversation? He is highlighting a contradiction in the Quran. Because on the one hand, Surah 5, Ayah 48, 46, and 43. For Can example, I finish my point? No, you've been crazy. No, no, because you're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this. You're right? His old Quran affirms the jail. The problem is, is that which in jail? Which I, I agree. I agree. I am jail would have been what we which have in today. Jail? Which in jail? How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? I challenge uh, him well, to no, show no, don't, don't me shout. an Injil don't that shout. rejects the Trinity. Show me on. Yeah, okay, yeah. Show me an Injil oh, that I'm, rejects the Trinity. I will. Oh, wow. I will. He asked me a question. Show me an Injil yeah. that rejects the Trinity. Yeah. You're going to oh, stand wow. by that? This wait, wait, the wait, 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 wait. The one Look the at this. Can you see? Can you all see what's happening here? When I start speaking, he starts jumping up and yeah, down yeah, yeah, yeah. this yeah he stopped yeah. so he asked me a question now he Can needs to be baby. patient to You're receive my answer baby. he asked me he asked me can you show me an injil and injil that rejects the trinity okay 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 now if i take his argument that the injil means all these four gospels they possess and i asked him why do you say that why do you limit to Okay. Why do you limit it to four Gospels? If the Quran is saying the church is disbelieving, the church is blasphemous, why would the Quran accept the Gospels given by the church? The Quran is telling us categorically the church is a disbelieving establishment. Full stop. So we will open the gates to other Injils. Other Injils. When we do, he asked me a question. Give me an Injil that rejects the doctrine of the Trinity. The Gospel of Thomas. The Gospel of Thomas, which according to some biblical scholars, is earlier than the Gospel of Mark. By the way, and no. I'm going to give names. No, no, no. Be quiet. Be quiet. I'm going to give names. I'm going to give names. Google the name. 
Google the name right now of the scholar. I'm not going to say. I'm sure. Do you know April I'm, D. D. I can quote you once. Okay, wait, that wait, 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 wait. Dr. Dan Wallace. Oh, wait, wait. Dr. Bar Uman. Uh, okay. Dr. N. T. Wright. Okay. I I, I, did, did I mention justice. them? Did I mention well, I'm them? I'm telling you, that's I'm mentioning. Not mainstream. Wait. Is it mainstream? Wait. Is it mainstream? Okay, wait. Can we can we have a conversation? Is it mainstream? Can we have a conversation? Is it mainstream? Can we have a conversation? I'm asking you now. Okay. Mainstream. Are you aware of scholars who? who uh, specialize in Gospels? In New Testament criticism, yes. Okay. Are you aware of scholars who have specialized in Gospels outside of the Christian New Testament? There are many people that do. Okay. April, Bar April D. Demaconic. Richard Carrier. Wait. Are you, are you listening? Okay, go Okay, on. I mentioned the Gospel of Thomas. Right. So I'm going to give you the name of the expert on that Gospel. I'm not going to mention people who are not experts on that Gospel. Who is the expert on the Gospel of Thomas? April D. D. McConnick. Go and Google the name. Dr. April D. D. McConnick. She is an expert on the Gospel of Thomas. She has written a book on it. And she is a rep. Wait, 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 wait. How can you how can you talk to these people? And you know why I'm doing this? I, I I usually now I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go the hostile mode. And you don't want to see me that uh, see me in that, okay? Oh, right. so, no, so, 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 don't provoke me. No, don't provoke me because you're not going to be able to handle that, okay? I'm trying to be gentle. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be calm. And if you provoke me to go into that mode like I was with Bob last week, you're not going to take. You're not going to handle that. I know you're not going to handle that. You don't have the ability, right? Okay. So I'm going to remain calm. Okay. That's good. Okay. So good. So let's be gentle with each other. Let's have look. Let people learn. At least yeah, let them learn. Yeah, yeah. This exercise yeah. is for me to educate people. It's not to beat you in a debate, Should right? April D. McConnick. Right. April D. D. McConnick. She says, she says that, that the Gospel of Thomas, it comes from a tradition which is parallel to the Q tradition. The Gospel of Mark comes from a tradition, an oral tradition called the Q tradition. April D. McConnick. She states that the Gospel of Thomas originates from a tradition that was parallel to the Q tradition. In other words, it comes from a tradition which was, if not earlier, then equal to the Gospel of Mark. Now, what does this Gospel say? In this Gospel, we have 114 sayings of Jesus Christ, what he said. Okay, sayings attributed to Jesus Christ. One of them one of them categorically dismantles the doctrine of the Trinity, categorically. And what is that? And what is that? And the reason, the reason why this gospel, despite, despite its earlier origin, despite its earlier origin, the reason why this gospel was thrown out, because how were the current gospels canonized? Those of you who are interested in this question, how the Gospels, the four Gospels are chosen and others rejected. Why were they rejected? Why were these chosen? You want to understand an answer to that question? I had a debate in South Africa very recently. The canon of the Gospels or the canon of the New Testament. I debated a Christian uh, activist in South Africa and the title of the debate is the canon of the New Testament. Okay, go and watch that debate and you will see how these Gospels are chosen. They were chosen by the rule of faith. If a Gospel, despite, despite its early nature, contradicts, contradicts the Christian doctrine, it was thrown out. Even if it came from trustworthy sources, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. Calm down. I just want to time it. Yeah, no it's problem. It's not a monologue. Let's time it then. Three yeah, minutes, three minutes? Okay. Well, I like two minutes, two minutes. Three minutes. Two, two minutes, two minutes. minutes. Okay, two minutes. Can we time, 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 time me. Time me for two minutes. Yeah, yeah, two minutes. Let me time it. Time it for two minutes. Okay. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, my purpose here is to educate. It's not to win a debate or lose a debate. I, I leave this information for the Christians and the Muslims to think about. You go and think about it. Right. And if you think I'm saying the truth, accept speak. it. If I'm speak. lying or I'm misrepresenting their faith, yeah. don't accept it. Okay. No problem. Right. Start. Can I speak? Can I speak? Two minutes. Thank you. Right. Wait. No, no. It's my turn. What? Okay, you turn. Right. 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 Then let me finish my point. Let me finish my you point. Just finish your I'm point. finishing in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish my point so that we can move on. So, in the Gospel of Thomas, there is, there is a saying attributed to Jesus that if you want to see 
He's gone. It says that God is not born of a woman. The Gospel of Thomas has a saying attributed to Jesus Christ. It states God is not born of a woman. Now that is a clear contradiction with the doctrine of the Trinity because Jesus is God and he was born of a woman. So according to this verse of the Gospel of Thomas, an early version of the teaching of Jesus Christ, God is not born of a woman. He asked me a question. Show me a gospel. Show me a gospel that contradicts the doctrine of the Trinity. I gave him not only a gospel, I gave him an early gospel that contradicts it. Over to you. Oh, finally, right. First of all, everything you said is nonsense. Let me explain this very quickly. Modern scholarship does not affirm the idea that the Gospel of Thomas is a reliable account. Most scholarship, for some reason, like Bart Ehrman, who would also have investigated this, who is an atheist and a head of New Testament scholarship, and that includes Gospels outside of the New Testament, he would have said, no, the Gospel of Thomas dates to the second century. Nowhere near the first century, and definitely not in the same vein of the source of Q, which was an oral of potentially written tradition he mentioned. Right. Scholarship does not affirm that in its majority. He is quoting a very specific scholar to make that account. Most scholars reject it. Yes. Look that up. Look at Bart Ehrman's view. He no, no, I don't, don't, don't worry. Let me, let, me, let me listen Second to him. All, I'll, I'll notice respond. I said to him, show me a gospel which the Quran could say is the Injil that would deny the Trinitarian doctrine. The problem with this is because he's now said one, he's now buried the Quran because now the Quran has to affirm everything that is found in the Gospel of Thomas. Oh no! There's some really spicy things in the Gospel of Thomas. Does the Quran affirm all those things? No! The Gnostics, would you affirm Gnostic belief? Now we know that the Quran is full of Gnostic teachings. For example, the infancy gospel, the Arabic infancy gospel of uh, Thomas, that says that Jesus uh, breathed life into clay birds and that he spoke from the cradle. That's not uh, original to the Quran. That actually comes from these Gnostic gospels that came hundreds of years after the time of Jesus. This is why Christians reject them. This is why the church rejects them. Show me a single Christian group inside the church that affirmed any gospel outside of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. He cannot do it. This is why his Quran is stuck because it affirms the Injil. We know what the Injil was at that time. We know what every single Christian group in the world thought the Injil was at that time and yet he says that the Trinity is wrong. Uh oh, the Christian church believed in the Trinity, their doctrines support it, their texts support Time it, out. game over. Two minutes. So ladies and gentlemen, there's a reason why Chris was not addressing my point on the Gospel of Thomas. He questioned me about a Gospel, I gave him the Gospel. I gave him the text that contradicts the doctrine of the Trinity directly, so he doesn't have any grounds to stand on. When the Quran mentions the word Injil, it's referring to the original. You're not listening, are you? It's, it's referring to the original. Now the question is, I ask this question, the Quran mentions the word Injil, and even the writings of Paul mention one Gospel. It doesn't mention so another. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Start again. If, every time you're going to interrupt me, I'm going to start again. Start again. If I interrupt you, start again. No problem. Okay. Yeah, start again. The Quran mentions the term Injil. And when the Quran says Injil, you're not listening. You're not listening. Because you don't want, you don't want, wait, stop, stop, stop my time. No, no, no. I want, did I listen to you? This guy, when, I, when you were speaking, he was trying to tell me things. I told him to stop because I want to listen to you. Because I want to do a fair debate. You're not listening because you don't care about my arguments. The point here is you don't care about my arguments. You don't want to listen to my arguments. Start the time again. How much have you spoken? Okay. Listen to me and then respond. Don't, he can't help you, this guy. I don't need any help. He cannot help you. just said the Quran affirms the Gospel of Okay, okay. He so just said start, the Gospel affirms start, the Start my time again. He never said the Quran. Start my time. He just said the Gospel of Thomas. Start my time. I'm going to, my time started now again. Ladies and gentlemen, so the Quran mentions the term Injil, which means one Gospel. Injil is not plural. It's a singular term. It cannot possibly be referring to their four Gospels. It cannot be. They are the ones imposing that on the Quran because they're blind. They have a Trinitarian lens. They have this church lens 
which the Quran says is a disbelieving lens, right? So now, what is the Quran talking about when it says Injil? The Quran is talking about the original teachings of Jesus Christ in his language. My question to him now, and watch him ignore my question. Watch him ignore my question and completely not respond to it. Where is the original Injil of Jesus Christ? The one he himself was preaching, not what Paul said, not what Matthew said, not what Mark or Thomas or Mary Magdalene and, and Judas, not these people. What Jesus himself said, where is that Injil? Number one, what language was it in? Where is the original Torah? Where is the original Torah of Moses? What language was it in? If you do not possess the original works of Jesus and Moses, then what gospel are you talking about? Why do we have to accept Tom, Dick, the gospel of Tom, the gospel of Dick, the gospel of Harry, the gospel of Murphy, the gospel of George, the gospel of the list goes on and on. And the gospel of someone who, who the gospel of someone who laughs like a monkey. Okay. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, the point is, this is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. Seriously. Okay. The Quran is very consistent. The original Torah of Moses, the original gospel or Injil. I, I won't even use the word gospel. The Quran is not saying gospel. The Quran is saying Injil, the message of Jesus. It's called Injil. Quran doesn't say gospel or evangelion. It says Injil, right? So now my questions, keep them in mind and watch him ignore. Go ahead, your time. And I'm not going to interrupt. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So his questions, I just have to wait for you to keep going on these monologues. Listen, he had made a big mistake. He just said it talks about Injil, not gospel. Wait, Injil, he already affirmed is an Arabic word for Evangelion, which is Greek for gospel. gospel. Yeah. He can't get out of this. And it's singular, meaning good news. Yeah. So that's refuted. Second point. <laughs> Second point, he said, made it very, very clear. He was like, oh, it's only the original. First of all, show me where it says original in the Quran. Doesn't say that. He adds to his deen. He does bidda and he innovates. Second of all, in the Arabic, and scholars will tell you this, Mabayna Yidehi, he confirms what is in their hands. The hands of the Jews and of the Christians at the time of Muhammad. Right. It affirms what they were reading. The Injil and the Torah in between their hands. That is what it says in your Arabic. And there are Muslims that will tell you this because they're honest. But he can't tell you that. And even if you go into the Arabic, it will say quite clearly it's in between their hands. hands. Not some mysterious original thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago. It, the Quran makes it clear. It believes it is confirming the Injil and the Gospel. He then made a big time. He went on a big. Oh, he won't answer this question. What, what was it originally written in? The original Injil was written in Greek, just like how you borrowed the word from Greek. Yes. So thank you very much. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it can't be Greek because Jesus. Oh, you're gonna say Jesus didn't speak Greek? How do you know that? Tell me that from the Quran. The Quran doesn't say that. It says that they only send prophets to speak in their okay. home language. This was a Hellenized region. Jesus would have spoke Greek as well as Aramaic. And just like that, his points have been refuted. He doesn't have anything else. He depends on scholarships that is fringe. Most scholars, Bar Ehrman, would say the Injil is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. N.T. Wright would say the Injil is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Gary Habermas would say that the Injil is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Show me any secular atheist. Richard Carrier would say the Gospel is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Show me anyone else who would say, no, it's not. It's the Gospel of Barnabas. It's the Gospel of Thomas. It's the, it's the infancy Gospel of James. Anything like that. Show me the scholars who support your view. Time out. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you see him ignore my questions? Did yes. Did he answer my question? Did he answer my question? Wait, wait, start my time. Start my time. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, Chris ignored my questions because they are devastating for Christianity. When they claim something comes from Jesus and they, they, they don't know, they don't know what language Jesus spoke. Tell him to present the evidence that we have evidence that this is the language Jesus spoke. Evidence. Remember the word evidence. When he claims Jesus spoke Aramaic or Greek, evidence. If there is no evidence, there's nothing. Likewise, what language did Moses speak? The Quran mentions the Injil and the Torah. So the Quran cannot possibly be referring to what they possess as the four Gospels because the Quran doesn't mention the four Gospels. The Quran mentions the Torah, the law of the Jews and the message of Jesus Christ, which is Injil, the original message. And now how do we find it? The Quran tells us how to find it. When the Quran says that what they possess, the Quran means that there are remnants of the truth. We still believe 
that whatever is uh, contained within the Gospels and in Torah, there are remnants of truth. There are true verses there that can be found that were originally given by Moses and Jesus. We have no doubt in that. We are quite consistent. We don't throw away the baby with the, with the bathwater. Brother, don't show me anything. I'm talking. Okay, wait. Okay. So we don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. You know why? You know why? Because we are very consistent. We're not like these extremists. We're not like these extremists. We don't throw away the baby with the bathwater. We don't, we're not blind. We look into the Gospels and we take them seriously. The Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Luke. I believe when the Gospel of Mark attributes the words to Jesus Christ that he said to a Jewish man, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. We believe that. We believe that Jesus said that. We believe that. Okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen, do we believe, do we believe, then do we believe other parts of the Gospels? Absolutely not. Because they cannot be attributed to Jesus Christ. Time up. Go ahead. All right, first of all, his first point. Oh, how do you know that Jesus spoke Greek and Aramaic? Simple, the actual gospel accounts themselves attested that he probably did. Why? Because he spoke with people, Pontius Pilate, who was a Roman who would have only known Greek or Latin. Latin yes. The best explanation for this is that Jesus also knew Greek. Simple. Right. Second of all, it was a Hellenized region for hundreds of years. To be Hellenized means that you would have been owned by the Romans and the Greeks, and that would have meant that you would have most likely have spoken Greek. Brilliant, the right. cute it. Then he goes, oh, uh, forget what I just said about all these other Gospels possibly being the Injil. Let's pretend that actually Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are the Injil. Yeah, we believe that some parts of it are the Injil. He just contradicted himself. <laughs> no, he just spent no. the earlier part of the debate telling you it wasn't the Injil, yeah. and the, the Gospel of Thomas is the Injil. Uh, and now he's saying, actually, they are the Injil, but they've been corrupted. <laughs> That's a different claim. He's just told you two separate things. So thank you for affirming that Matthew, Mark, Luke and John are the Injil that Grant talks about, but they have been corrupted. That's a different claim from saying that the Gospel of Thomas is actually the Injil. Now is this going to help him? No, it's not going to help him. Why is it not going to help him? Because the idea that the Injil was corrupted is not to be found in your Quran. First and foremost, it's bitter. Second of all, the idea that it's corrupted, you have to explain when it was corrupted. Was it corrupted before Muhammad? In which case Muhammad cor uh, confirmed a corrupted book. Or was it corrupted after Muhammad? In which case we can check the earliest manuscripts to know what Muhammad would have known. And we can refute you because they say exactly what our Bibles say today. Right. Okay. He wants to stop. Yeah, you want yeah, to stop? Yeah, okay, ladies and gentlemen. He ignored my questions again. What language? Okay, when I mentioned that, give me the evidence that Jesus spoke Greek, he has no evidence. No, probably. Remember the word probably. Okay, wait, ladies and gentlemen, he used the word probably. Probability is not evidence. Evidence is evidence. Evidence shows you that something is a fact. Okay, probability is not an evidence. That's an insinu insinuation. That's an inference. Okay, so understand what evidence means. So you don't know what language Jesus spoke. I assume or I conclude rather that you don't know what language Jesus spoke. You don't know what language Moses spoke. And if that's the case, if that's the case, then you cannot possibly claim to have the original. And you don't have the original. 